the fallen powerhouse that is Sentinels might be making a resurgence. This is Sentinels vs. Paper Rex from the grand finals of the Africa TV Valorant League. Sentinels are up 1-0, but now we enter Sunset, Paper Rex's map pick. Sentinels know that if they can pull off an upset on Sunset, then the rest of the series will be smooth sailing. But Paper Rex, kings of aggression, don't plan on making this easy. The score is 6-6, six six, so the winner of this crucial pistol round will break the tie and begin snowballing their lead. Sentinels open with a passive 113 default. They want to start off slow, play back, hold angles, and see if Paper X are going to do something aggressive. And of course it's Paper X, so they're doing something aggressive. The barriers drop, Paper X KO knife tiles, open smoke bottom mid. The knife scans nothing tiles. Something, Gecko flashes A, Sentinels instantly break it. Paper X then quietly tiptoe into tiles. Are Sentinels aware? Zero point, but it's a big push out here in towards mid. It's okay, fourth presence is gonna be spotted, pop flash, nothing noted. Is he on the ground? Mid presence absolutely shown. Paper X back off because they know that Sentinels are probably going to respond to their mid aggression by quickly hitting one of the sites. So Paper X smoke off tiles for a ghost hold in mid, then three stack towards B and two A. But Sentinels are not rushing onto a site. They're still patiently posted. Paper X's bottom mid smoke fades, so Sentinels call to reclear mid together. Tens, Omen smokes top mid. Sassy, Zekin, and Zelsus quietly walk through the tile smoke together. They're figuring out how they want to line this up. So good stuff here from both teams. Paper X wants to get aggressive. That's in their nature. Sentinels read it, but Paper X doesn't over aggress. Cortez can spot Sentinels. He knows Sentinels recleared mid now. He backs off to double post top mid with Jing. Sentinels know they've been spotted, but they stay calm. Their cypher cam is still holding B main control for them. So with that, they hatch a plan. They break open the market doors. Tense Omen smokes the right side of top mid. That's genius. By breaking market door and smoking the right side of top mid, they're threatening a B split from three different angles. Jing and Forsaken, who are both stuck behind the smoke, immediately recognize what's happening and start rotating B through spawn. But the Vi and something are double post in market. They're saying, wait, we don't see anything mid. Don't over rotate. I think they're just faking B to go A. So Jing and Forsaken double back to A and the Vi begins walking out mid for info. At this moment, Sentinels call, guys, let's actually end A. Sassy, can you prowler market to fake B? Not eating any of that damage. Vi gets ready to potentially swing the corner, does so! The Vi catches Sassy with his util out and draws for his blood. The B fake is ruined, but with only 30 seconds left and with Sentinels already moving towards A, they realize they have no choice but to commit to the original call to end A. Right into Paper Rex's stack. Sentinels quietly walk up. Mind Freak preemptively smokes off A main. Sentinels are all grouped up. They explode forward. Paper Rex and the execute. As soon as they, hear they see the aim in smoke, they're forced to funnel elbow. But look at Paper X's setup. They have aim in smoked off and they have two players double posted elbow. This is a lethal firing squad. They're coming into Paper X. Having a good sense of where this one's going to end up. Fault line goes in. Stun coming across. Main shell in the proper spot. Goes into the back. Second, able to find Jake for second to get down. Mind Frank now trying to hold, but so very low already on the side. What? Sentinels completely run over Paper Rex. Somehow, Sentinels perfectly read Paper Rex's setup and breach stuns Jen. Zekin's Roomba confirms that there's a player Jen and he follows it up with a lethal nade. Sentinels peek with a util and get two instant kills. Ten smokes off CT and right before it blooms, Divide peeks out for a cheeky timing but gets punished by tens. Now Sentinels are up 4v2 and they swarm the last two players to take the pistol round. This year, a goal of mine is to get you more content without accidentally burning out or going bankrupt. But with how much time, money, and brain cells that go into each video, I was starting to think that was impossible. But here at Sovereign Guy, <clears throat> I mean the Aaron channel, we're all about making the impossible possible. And so I'm doing something that I should have done a lot earlier. I opened the Patreon page. If you're enjoying the content and want to help financially support me and the channel, or if you just want juicy exclusive content like scrapbooks from the matches I cover, behind the scenes videos, and much more, then consider becoming a supporter by clicking my Patreon link in the description below. But hey, don't give me your money if you can't afford it. Take care of yourself first. We chickened out. 
Paper X figured that the problem last round was that they didn't commit hard enough to their mid push. So this round, they open with the entire team mid for an eco push. And this time, they aren't going to back off and let Sentinels retake the space for free. But Sentinels are in Paper X's heads. Expecting another push, they open with a 104 default. Sentinels are starting slow like last round, except this time they're a bit more bloodthirsty since they know they have better guns. The barriers drop, Paper X open smoke, and Kale Knife bottom mid. The Kale Knife hits John QT, his Cypher Utility's down. Then Paper X walk out mid. But Sentinels knows our double posted tiles waiting for this push. Sassy, fade eyes mid for info. We're gonna be seeing any force by, but we will see some force positions being taken. Zekin waiting. John QD saying, wait, wait, my Cypher Util's down. It could be bottom mid already. So Zekin whips around and doesn't commit to the tiles fight. And he's saved by the calm because Paper X are indeed all the way bottom mid. And John QD's Cypher Util comes back up. Oh no. Paper X are spotted deep mid, so Sentinel is called to quietly sneak away and work towards A. But Forsaken isn't going to let that happen. Far forward, the kind of way is starting to back off. Swing coming in, Forsaken only with the classic. Now she's going to be sending out the flash, but turn comes in. Answering pain shells now could do some significant damage. Forsaken taking out the Spectre, claiming the first kill. Skirmish ends, Sentinels are up a player, and they got the plant down onto the open A site. Time is ticking, the ball's in Paper X's court now. They reposition to have three retake from A link and one super late flank. The retake begins. Mind Freak smokes off A main. Tens responds by counter smoking A link. Then he walks out for a timing. Bars. Yeah. But he gets pushed back by something's gecko flash. Sassy fate tethers in response, giving Tens another timing to post on an off angle. Tens just waiting. Avoids the dizzy, Switch coming. Tens dies, Sentinels instantly respond with a Fade Eye and Raise Roomba. Paper Rex are stalled out, so the vibe begins his late flank. Getting here on the gecko. Off Paper Rex's noise, Sassy Fade Prowlers A main. Breach stun pushes Paper Rex back once again. Prowler sent, yeah, time running low. Second, able to find one. One for one. <laughs> Something finishes the job. Nelsis walking around the back will be able to catch two. Mind Freak now, no the choice but to die to the spike. To try to actually get the catch here, stop the rotate outs and actually does. That was great util layering from Sentinels. They forced Paper X to have to push through several walls of util on their retake to the point where they couldn't even take a single step on the site. And with that, Sentinels win their anti-eco round. Despite losing the last round, Paper X took away four guns from Sentinels. This means Sentinels are going to have an especially weak bonus this round. Well, except for Zelsus. He forced a Guardian. I bet this is because there's a stat somewhere out there that shows that there's a dramatic spike in win percentage when you go from having two rifles to three rifles. Well, either that or Zelsus is just forcing for fun. Zekin has a read. Paper X already aggressed mid twice in a row. So this round, they probably won't be mid. And if Paper X are leaving mid open, then there'll probably be only one player market max. So Zekin wants to punish them. But little does he know, his play will spark a chain reaction that showcases the Sentinel's macro masterclass. But first, at A, Paper X Kale Knife, Omen Smoke A main. The knife scans nothing. In mid, Zekin satchels forward. Good at dodging it. Zekin, Zekin? Oh my god. Zekin gets sat down. But now, Paper X thinks Sentinels are going fast mid. So Mind Freak and Jane call to grab the free A orb. But Sentinels are actually close. And they're hungry for a pick. Trying to up the pace here. Doesn't go the way that they were hoping for there. But Tens Sentinels find a pick. They explode forward. The map, something as well. Still at 11 8. Tens gets inserted into an elbow. And under the cover of all this chaos, Zelsis quietly lurks into market. In that sense, John Cutie and Saucy both taken low. Tens finds a pick A with two deaths towards A. That's enough for Paper X's B players to finally begin rotating over. But Zelsus is market. He hears all this. He's saying, they're rotating away. Come B, come B. Suddenly, Sentinels are about to get a free sight. This is a macro masterclass from Sentinels. But Forsaken knows something's off. He's reclearing A main. Angle. Well, tens continues to draw tens. He takes down Tens. Forsaken then Kale Knife's elbow. It scans nothing. Paper X realized they've been outplayed, but it's too late. Sentinels are already on B. This is intended for B. Cam comes through and 11 Spike HP planted. for something. Gonna try to go through market. The other two on top. 
Elsis greeting them first and foremost, and Sassi swinging back in. It's all on something with 11 HP. Celsius will finish it off. And Sentinels win their bonus round. Their economy is about to snowball out of control. Paper X know this, so they call a timeout. In their timeout, Paper X's coach is telling them that the reason they got outplayed last round was because Sentinels got a main control. They realize a main control is very important. So Paper X open with a 104 spread. They're on the save round, so they just want to gamble stack A. As for Sentinels, they open with a passive default again. They think Paper X might make an eco push. They don't want to get swept away by Paper X's aggression. The barriers drop, Paper X one way A main. Then they slowly walk up. Here. Ends up on top. Orb tapped, Sentinels respond with a fade suck. But that's all. Paper X want more info. They kill knife deep. It scans nothing. But with deep spawn cleared, something gecko flashes high. It gets instantly broken. Sentinels, fade dog back. Prowler. Just trying to scare something off for covering this. Good. We'll be able to come into it though. Paper X then settle into a trap setup. And Sentinels are all still A. They're about to charge straight into the jaws of the trap. But Sassy is leaving the team and going towards B? Oh, he's going to fake B while Sentinels actually hit A. This fake might cause Paper X to cancel their A main trap. Bring. Now Paper X this round doesn't want to do it, but again, Sentinels do such a good job of being patient, controlling the initiative of the map. On going out, not going to be able to get the reveal there. Now Paranoia going through, Dizzy up over the top, he's blind with two and... Trap triggered, utility traded, no one dies. But Sentinel saw one, two, three, four pieces of util from Paper Rex. That's a four-man A stack, meaning it's only Cypher solo B. So Sentinels immediately start sprinting B. It's just Divide alone against all of Sentinels. Towards Divide, the Stinger in hand. Left. Flash not connecting, trap wire finding one. Looks for this follow-up and now- Two for one trade, numbers advantage in Paper X's favor. But they still have worse guns. So Paper X regroup, three mid to grab the gun market and one flank. Sassy has taken Boba control, so Sentinels plant the spike back sight. Get around the back. Now noted, the camp gets destroyed. Jing staying elusive, bounces away, not getting caught there, and Ken's gonna be noted, and he's gonna wow. take it down. Jing, able to find the kill, something falls. 2v2 now, but Sentinels have way better weapons, and Forsaken only has 5 HP. But then, Forsaken picks up a rifle B main. Puts this much more pressure on Mind Freak. Swing coming in, the headshot is good. They have to get onto the spike here soon, it's starting to take away. Planted in the back, the tap, the spray. Flip it back towards him here as Forsaken the arm. Should have been seen, but he actually gets the headshot. Whoa, but they didn't have it held to half. The hold away, trying to make it happen, but it's going to be just shy of the mark, perhaps? No! Oh. 0.45 seconds! What an upset. Paper X strike back with a thrifty. No way. There are eight ultimate abilities online this round. And both races are only one to two kills off their alts. This is a perfect time for all these nukes to come online because both teams are on full buys. And the team that loses will be going into the next round bankrupt. This may be the most important round in the game. Everything will be decided by how these teams wield their ultimate abilities. Sentinel is open with a 014 default. Since Paper X have a ton of vaults, Sentinels are respecting that by playing even further back than usual. Well, except for Tense. He's starting mid alone and he plans on TPing tiles off rip. This is because defenders know that when the barriers drop, attackers can only path mid from B side and A main. So Tense being tiles off the start puts him in the single spot a defender aggressing from market wouldn't expect, potentially catching them off guard. But to Sentinels a surprise, Paper X are not aggressing this round. Paper X instead open with a 2-1-2 spread. They're all playing off the sites to avoid Sentinels' breach and fade all. And they aren't aggressing because they know Sentinels can easily annihilate their push with a press of a button. So Paper X start this round quieter than usual. 
patiently waiting for their time to strike. The barriers drop, tens teepees across the tiles. He then posts up on market, but no one is pushing. The pack of sentinels in their spawn realize that there's no fast push happening from Paper Rex, so they decisively begin walking towards B. This is low key brilliant. Sentinels have been starting all the previous rounds very quiet, very slow, and always towards A. So this round was engineered by Sentinels to feel the exact same as the previous rounds, except now they're immediately regrouping B main for a B execute. The Sentinels. They go, creeping through, devise utility outside of B main. I think the camera's right above the door on the other side. Sentinels are up close. The execute begins. Raise nade, phase parallel to break the cypher trips. Breach all market and cypher Zekin to take the space. But the vice cypher one-way cage stops the rest of Sentinels from following up. At the same time, Ten smokes super deep CT and Omen ult into Boba, but it gets instantly canceled by the Vi. Now, this means Ten's only has one smoke up, but there's two chokes B to smoke. Zekin Roomba's back sight. Sentinels know that B site is completely clear now. So Tenz uses his last Omen smoke Boba Boba to keep control of back sight. But this means market is open. Sentinels cannot get the spike across his sight. So Sassy fade out to market. It pushes Jing back. Something immediately counters with his Gecko ult CT. Zekin detained and taken down. Zekin again just getting locked down there by that thrash. Jing will find John Cutie. Push over to the side. Jing actually stabilized. And Paper Rex flawlessly win the round. What a great hold from Paper Rex. First, playing offside to dodge the breach ult. Something counter ulting for the fast retake. Then him and Divide both storm out of CT tightly holding hands and taking every single fight together. This gives Jing the opening to play off them, which results in Paper Rex crushing Sentinels with a three-man pinch. Sentinels have been playing at a painfully slow pace so far. Now that they're on a save, they call it a change up the pace. Sentinels open with 4B main. They've got a Cypher camp to take first contact, and if that camp spots even a single Paper X toe in B main, oh baby, if you know, you know. And for better or worse, Paper X have the perfect read this round. They open with 3B, something in Jing both staring down B main. There's about to be a party in B main. Ways to guide it into an angle where they expect you one and you're in a different one. Oh, they're looking for the chase. Oh. He jukes the result, then smugly hops away. The kill, not gonna be found. Flashing as well, so something can back away as he was playing out into the open. Answering Rocket at the ready, but Jing wanting to hold that perhaps for a future buy round here from Sentinels is 10 so far, only able to find one kill there onto something. And it is just John and Celsius left standing. Can't get the kills. We're tied up nine to nine. Wow. Sentinels lasted only 23 seconds that round. Longer than me, TBH. Paper Rex cannot be stopped. The momentum is theirs, and to propel them even further, Jing has Rezalt. Paper Rex opened with a 2 1 2 setup. The exact same as last round, except this time, Jing is starting top mid instead of V main. I wonder why. As for Sentinels, they're back to their super passive defaults. They know Paper X have Rezalt, and they're giving it full respect. Well, except for Tent. He's looking to do the same mid TP he did round 17 to outplay Paper Rex. But. Gives him a little bit of extra room. Jing, here he goes. Jumping forward, we can see just how far back they're playing. Your point not finding anybody there. And Paper Rex take down Tens and claim control of mid. Man, Tens had nowhere to run there. Jing satchel down tiles, forcing Tens to move forward and out into the open. And because Tens was pre aimed at Jing, Forsaken from top mid gets a free kill on Tens. Sentinels are down numbers, lost their smokes, and still haven't stepped out of spawn. What can they even do? To try to get a spot for Jing on that push out. I really like that setup from Paper Rex. So something a little new and put into play. Almost doesn't give him the kill from the showstopper, but it gives him a kill out in the mid, and something is just holding his ground here. I don't know if he's going to be ready for this one, though. Oh, God. Oh, if they just look not backward. Looking. <laughs> Neither is looking back. <laughs> and they will just miss each other like ships in the night. Oh, my God. Forsaken wants info. He knives elbow. It's against two Sentinel players. Paper X are honed in on elbow and A main now. Jing is sprinting over from B. So there's no way Paper X will expect this mid timing from Sentinels. This could end up being some very bad info. You can see Mind Freak not paying any attention towards the side of the map. Jing about to swing around, however. Will spot him, but he's not ready for it. He can't relate to Mind Freak fast enough. 
Base coming in, Forsaken. Sentinels tear open the A site. But will they expect something's fast timing on the flank? Takes him down. Now it's just two. Trying to Spike keep his planted. position. Someone secretive here. Something gets taken down. It's just the Vi left in 1v4. Someone aware. I'm gonna read this. Sassy takes down the Vi. With the blessing of a god lurk timing, Sentinels crush Paper X's momentum and take the lead. Sentinels open with all five players mid. They want to take mid control off the bat. This is the first time they've done this all game. The barriers drop, Sassy fade eyes mid, tends Omen Smoke's top mid. The eye clears all of mid, Sentinels begin inching forward. But Paper X are double posted from market, ready for a fight falls down actually you could there's a wire you can land it on up there but sentinels called to back off and regroup b main for a b execute but paper x are stacked market they saw sentinels use some util mid at the start and now they realize that mid is a little too quiet so something calls sentinels on their bluff he begins walking out mid it into the a side oh. playing here something takes contact with john qt forsaken kill knives they main and it scans nothing so Paper X now know that A main is cleared and a cypher is lurking mid tiles. That means Sentinels are probably gathered B main. So Paper X keep three players B while Mind Freak shifts away from A. But Sentinels are already grouped up B main. They're ready to explode on his site. Backs away. That Neural Theft still in play. Didn't see it. Necessary to invest in the last round. Is second jumping forward. Still getting the kill. Right before that Dizzy comes in. Jing. Trying to gamble which side he's going to be swinging out on. What a creative execute. Sentinels knew they were Paper X player's market. So they did a market execute from B main. Zekken satchels up behind their fade dog. Sentinels breach stun omen blind market. Something tried to counter with his flash, but it was just barely too slow. Zekken finds first blood and then eventually gets traded by Jing. Divai from backside looks for a peak timing. Out on him. Eventually will be able to find the headshot, but not before getting chunked out for 47 HP. Nani? Sassy's arm gets taken off and it's instant death from blood loss. All four players of Paper X are rotated B now, but Sentinels begin leaving? Wait, John QD is walking into A! He's paving a road onto an open site for Sentinels to take. Paper X realize something's very wrong. They all begin cautiously shifting towards A, wary of a potential lurker. Ow, seems like a good as time as any to use it. Couple blast packs for Jing. Get on in there potentially from the backside, but the trap wire to cover uh, that. Planted. Your point lets them know that there's no one playing Quite all the way into back site. Now the null command ticking away, just keeping them suppressed, stopping that util from coming through. Double push comes out the back. Footsteps may have been heard there as Tan's trying to hold the line, but good answering damage from Jing makes him think twice about that hold. Okay, I'm now out, Forsaken finding one. Ten's gonna be taken down. Zelz is able to find Mind Freak, but that puts everything now on the IGL, and he cannot- A clean, systematic retake from Paper X. They KO ulted to suppress that nose, which prevented Tens from smoking anything off. Then, Paper X smoke off both Elbow and CT to clear sight. Forsaken and Jing pinch Elbow to find a kill on Tens. Aware of a potential flank, Mind Freak and Divide double post a link and take down Zelsus. John QT's behind the smoke in a 1v3, so he's forced to swing out and he gets instantly taken down. Paper X strike back, it's 10 to 10. Both teams are neck to neck. This is anyone's game. Hey guys, I'm gonna set up A this round. Alright, then in that case, let's take B main control. Senos are probably gonna sit in their spawn for the first minute of the game anyways. Not gonna lie, I think Paper X are gonna fight B main. Ooh, I like the way you think. Both teams have the exact same idea. B main is the name of the game. Which team will come out on top? Thunder, are we just gonna try a fast hit? Grenade! Could be, and if so, it's going to potentially be rewarded. Push into the corner there from something, <laughs> but they're held at bay. Oh, the no. molly goes off, but now he's stuck blinded up. Aftershock will take him down. What in the war zone did we just watch? The first kill goes the way of Sentinels. Oh no, it looked like maybe Paper X was gonna come out of that a little bit better, but something pushing a bit too far forward and great recognition by Zelsis with that aftershock. If they could get around the corner, would allow them to use that neural theft. Sentinels are trying to fully clear B main. Forsaken, breaking as much util as he can to fake that Paper X are still set up B main. Here's Forsaken just clearing out the boom bot. 
slowing him up at every twist and turn, but there's the- But Sentinels pop their Cypher all. Sentinels know A is open. They start sprinting A, but then they're like, no, no, no. Going A is too obvious. We're re-hitting B. But Paper Rex read Sentinels' read. There's still three stacked B. Hard to tell if it's shut now, will be shut in market. Zero oh, point great. lobbed in, will get destroyed. Fault line, not connecting. Jump forward there, second, gets himself in the back sight. He's going to take it down. Jing, however, spraying through the smoke, finds one, gets some damage across, but it's just Mind Freak and Dubai left alive now. Mind Freak pushing out, walks himself out of market. Yes! What a tap! Brings it now into a 1v2. The oh, shot that he had though. no business hitting. Trapwire yeah. will be cleared. They know exactly where Dubai is, but now he knows where they are. Answering Neural Theft going through. It's the pick. I believe I can fly. Waiting for the swing to jump across, and he can't stabilize fast enough to find Sassy. And with John Cutie's sacrifice, Sentinels pull ahead. This round, Sentinel spawn with Fatal and Razal, so they called a hit B again. But instead of explosively Yuto dumping B main like last round, they call to silently contact the B main. The exact same strat they did in round 18. But Paper Rex also remember that round. A miracle isn't gonna happen again, so they call to play not in B main this round. But Jing is thinking one step further. He knows that if Zekin isn't gonna use his Razal B main, then perhaps he's going to go market with it. You're absolutely right. It's great recognition by Zelsus. I, I mean, you gotta love the way that he's using his utility. It's so smart, so on point. Look at the ults that they have available. Nightfall Showstopper. Now drawn out, John Kitty already- Ooh! Jing counters second satchel padding by posting in a crazy off-angle market. Kitty already finding something the rocket. It's sent, but Jing shuts it down. Killing him off in mid-air, but now Sasi finding the Dubai. An advantage here for the side of Sen. Jing tries to take the fight, but Sasi says no. Puts him down, Tensk is forsaken. And now suddenly it's all on Mind Freak, still making his way over to the site as the spike gets planted. Bring them down. And not a lot. That Mind Freak can do. I agree, he's probably going to save. So while he's saving, let's look at the shot Sentinels hit. John QT, who was lurking mid, caught something mid rotate. Sassy got two clean kills on the execute. And Tense, who managed to get a timing into Boba, picked off Forsaken. And now, Mind Freak, the last man standing, is posted tiles, saving his rifle. But Sassy is on the hunt. Might just end up drifting right here into Mind Freak's hands, but no, he looks away. Sassy finds his mark. And it's map point for Sentinels. It's map point for Sentinels, so Paper X have to force buy. But they notice that their one off Gecko ult, that ult could single handedly win them this round. So Paper X opened with 3A. They want to take aiming control and farm that ult orb. But Sentinels have eyes. They also see that something is one off Gecko ult. They need to deny Paper X that ult orb. So Sentinels are all grouped up A. Now, they haven't gone fast A once this entire game. But if there's ever a time to change it up, it's now. The barriers drop, Sentinels fade eye elbow, breach Sunday main. Jin counters with his nade. Mind Freak omen blinds back. Live Prowler on the hunt, something holding close and Shutter. sends a dizzy, but now just has to try to hightail it back. Something gets run down elbow. Then, Sentinels cut all noise. Did Sentinels rotate out? Are they going to re-hit? The longer they stay quiet, the more paranoid Paper X will become. Sentinels exposed. Divine and Forsaken immediately regroup and begin flanking. They want to keep Sentinels contained at A. As for Sentinels, they don't panic, they still stay silent. But now, they know that Paper X could be anywhere on the map. With less than a minute left, they don't want to re-clear everything. So, they call to commit A. But at this moment, Device separates from Forsaken to stack A with the rest of Paper Rex. So Sentinels are about to execute onto Paper Rex's stacked site. As you can see, Sentinels has had such a great idea of keeping this A orb under their control. Here's a robot clear out. TP forward. One for one trade on the flank. If there's a deep flanker, then that means the rest of the Paper X are most likely stacked A. So Sentinels all start stomping towards the open B site. But Paper X hear the rotate. They also immediately start running B. Now they'll start rotating their way over towards this B site. Device still alive, means the Cypher Util. Oh, it was a fake rotate. And Paper X completely fell for it. Sassy is a lurked up elbow. Sentinels are coming back. A site is wide open. <laughs> Who's traveling? 
is so smart. Now they're gonna know with the haunt and all the util coming down. Paper X, a 3v4 retake coming up. It's gonna be very, very challenging. John Cuny watching this, but Dubai hearing the cam, knows that it's just around the corner. Stuck behind the box, eventually it will get cleared, but that confirms the lurk. Made at the ready, sent towards Ching. Dubai, dead. Sasi able to find him on that flank angle. Mind Freak, there's out second, but now he is all on his lonesome. TP's forward behind the box, but needs to kill three. And I believe I can fly. Soon, grabs the gun, can't even line up Saucy. With a masterfully executed, ankle-shattering fake rotate, Sentinels take Sunset and secure a 2-0 lead.